Hey guys, welcome back. Working in the background, and uh, I thought I'd answer a question that I got a couple days ago. And that was, if I could build any aircraft from any generation, uh, and the question implied futuristic as well, what would it be and why? It's a good question. Um, so I, when I was doing, so I've talked about this before a little bit. When I was researching which plane to build and I decided on the RV-10, I was looking really hard at the various canard aircraft. I, uh, you know, the long easies, the velocities, things like that. Uh, I like that pusher design. I've always thought really highly of it, honestly, although it does have limitations and problems. Um, I also really like metal aircraft. So, <clears throat> um, old metal airplanes, older metal airplanes, your, your Mustangs and Spitfires and whatnot are amazing to me. Although I'm the guy that as, as cool as the Spitfire was, very cool airplane, I kind of like the Hurricane better. As cool as the P-51 was, I like the Corsair better, right? It's, I, I kind of like the aircraft that were not the ones everyone loves. You know, um, between the two, between like the the Hurricane and the and the Corsair or, or uh, any contemporary aircraft, um, I love the ones with radial engines because radial engines are just sexy, right? So a radial engine metal aircraft, but that's in a pusher configuration. Uh, that's something that I think would be interesting to try. And I think I think Dornier did something along those lines. I'd have to look, but I think what I would like to build, like if money was no object, if I could just build anything crazy and wacky and have fun, it would be a single pilot over center of gravity style aircraft, your fighter plane, but that was futuristic in its design, but futuristic from the sense of 1940s, right? And so it would be some cool looking, probably canard pusher with a radial sexy engine on the back of it um, that, really probably served no purpose at all other than to just kind of look cool. Something like that is, is something that I think would be a hell of a lot of fun to build and play in. Um, eh, I, I don't know, I mean, I'm completely impractical, right? But hey, you know, this is not all that practical anyways. Uh, so anyways, I thought that that was probably my answer. Uh, I, I like metal, I prefer a metal airplane over a composite air, aircraft, just because, I don't know, there's something about metal. I don't know why. Uh, some of the composite airplanes are amazing. But uh, I, I just, I just, I don't know, the metal and the, the, the look of the rivets and the look of the metal air, airplane is very uh, appealing to me. And uh, radial engines are amazing. Hard to get, apparently. I like, I guess no one's making radials anymore. And uh, I, I do like the idea of a canard aircraft, even though I was, you know, researching and then there's a lot of, a lot of downside to a canard, like uh, since your propellers behind the aircraft, apparently uh, you don't get that, uh, you don't get as clean um, uh, air, you don't get clean air going over the propeller since, since technically, I mean, you've got a prop that's got to go through, uh, two different airflows, right? As it, as it goes. So I imagine there's a lot of inefficiency there. Uh, not to mention that when you're coming in landing configuration, you have a chance of prop strike or something like that because your prop is now, you know, in the ass of your plane and touching the ground or could, uh, if you do it really wrong, <laughs> but I guess you can probably design all that stuff out. But anyways, I'm rambling now. So that's, that's probably how I do. I, if, I, if I could build anything, it'd be something goofy and fun like that. Um, taking donations. So I had someone ask me the other day if uh, I had done a step on the wings regarding this seam between this skin and this skin. Now specifically, that is 16 dash two, step number five, which says to make a more aesthetically pleasing joint between the top skins, it's permissible to remove material from the edges of the skins as shown. Blah, 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 and it gives several examples. Basically what it's saying is there's a, there's a good gap of, of skin here between this piece and this piece. Ooh, my skin's really dusty. Um, and it's permissible to shave down, if you will, each of these skins so that this this lip doesn't happen right here. I didn't do it. The reason I didn't do it is because I just had no good way to reliably machine down thin that skin such that it would be seamless. Um, and I'll try to take a picture like coming down, but you, it's, it's so minor, there's nothing here. It's, it's the thickness of a single piece of aluminum 
and I just didn't think it was a big deal. Uh, I've looked at other people's skins or other people's wings that were slow builds and they had it too. They didn't do it either. I've not checked uh, my buddy's quick build wings to see if he did it. I'll do that the next time I'll see and I'll give you an update. Uh, I don't know if the quick build does it or not. I'd be interested. If, if you have a quick build set of wings and they shaved this down, uh, take a picture if you would and send it to me because I'd like to see how they did it. Uh, but yeah, so I didn't do it. I don't think it's necessary. I think that the the little bit of a lip right here is just, it's, it's nothing. It's minor. It's not going to affect anything. Um, so I just didn't sweat it. I didn't do it. And I don't think it's a big deal. So I hope that answers your question. So this is, uh, this is all going so much faster, working on this, this second wing after doing the first wing. I think the whole time I was working on the first wing, I was regretting not getting the quick build wings. And I've talked about that in other videos, is that I really, really regret not getting quick build wings. And I'm still kind of in that thought process that I, you know, or that, that state where I, I kind of wish I had got quick builds. But uh, I, I think I was dreading working on the second wing after taking so long to do the first wing. But now that this is going so much faster, meh, you know, now I'm actually not dreading the quick build as much. Uh, I had talked to some people about doing quick build fuselage, uh, especially after the wings. Uh, some people, uh, Lynn and my buddy over here, were saying that, oh, the fuselage, you think the wings are bad, the fuselage is 10 times worse because it's a million different things. I actually think that's better. I think one of the things that made made the, the wings really tedious is it's just, it's you know, you got to do a rib and then, then you got to do another rib and then another rib and oh, so many ribs. And you know, it's the same thing over and over and over again. Whereas uh, having lots of lots of different stuff, actually that would keep me interested. So I, I'm definitely not going to get the quick build fuselage. And I'm starting to not regret getting uh, slow build wings. So there's that. Here's a couple photos of the, um, final product across the rear spar. I think they it all came out beautifully. Uh, this one specifically is of the uh, new version of the inboard aileron um, rivets and all the stuff. It's much more sturdy. Like you can you can feel it. It's just really beefy and strong now. So they I firmly believe they fixed that problem. Um, but other than that, uh, continuing to work on it got Lots more to do and uh, not a lot of time to do it. So uh, it's it's about to be uh, Christmas. I know you're thinking, what, we've still got a couple of weeks, but no, uh, as of when I filmed this and when you actually get to see it, Christmas is coming up pretty quick. And I'm not gonna be out here working on it during that time just because of family obligations and whatnot. So this might be the last video until the new year. I'm not sure. Uh, if it is the last video, uh, until the new year, then all I can say is Merry Christmas to everybody. Happy holidays, if that's your shtick. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Th thanks so much for all my Patreon supporters. You guys are amazing. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, I like to continue the conversation over there. If you guys want to become a Patreon supporter and let's talk and let's let's discuss stuff. Let's have conversations. I'll ask you, I'll answer your questions and, and we'll go back and forth. Uh, same thing with just the YouTube users. You guys uh, are very supportive. Like, I, I don't know if you ever watch other YouTube channels, but you get down into the comments and some of the comments are like caustic and horrible. Whereas I haven't had any of that on my channel. You guys are all awesome. Usually giving good feedback, good advice, and uh, just generally supportive, which is really, really cool. I've got some of the best users ever. So thank you very much, everybody. Again, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and all that. New see you in the new year. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, give me a thumbs up or hit the subscribe button. Uh, and if you really wanna support me, you can either become a Patreon supporter or use my builder number when you order your Vans RV10 or any Vans product because you can do it too. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.